Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna to be talking about text properties in CSS. Now, I explained this a little bit at the beginning of the first video, but I just wanna make it sort of clear. Um, we are gonna be covering the CSS basics starting at the very beginning, all up into the brand new you know, CSS3 properties and all the great stuff you can do with that. But uh, we're starting at the very basics because not everybody knows CSS, and so we wanna take it from the, from the very beginning until uh, the more advanced stuff so that way everybody can really be on the same page or you can pick up where your uh, skill level starts off Okay, so this is going to be CSS text formatting and we did maybe a little bit of this in the last lesson um, If you remember, let's look at our code. You can say we we can see we gave our font um, Our text a color of white here our paragraph text as well as our h1s um, Likewise, if we were to change this to something, you know, like this ugly blue, um, let's refresh, you know, it's going to be blue. So that's uh, color. As you can see here, color is just one of the many uh, text properties that you can format with CSS. So um, other things you can do, um, let's say the text alignment, right? So our paragraph Let's make our paragraph different. We can call this um, the let's see text align text hyphen align colon, and then you can do a bunch of things. You can do center, and um, let's have our h1 text align, and you can have this right, left, or justified. So let's go back here, refresh this, and you can see our little tiny header up here. In this corner is just to, or is a uh, text aligned to the right, and our paragraph is uh, text aligned to the center. Really quick, I'm just going to make this. Let's put this up to like 32, so it's nice and big. There we go. Okay, so this is the uh, text alignment. You know, you'd use this in paragraph formatting, um, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to use to position your elements um, on a page. It's really just for formatting your paragraph text and stuff like that. Okay, so let's talk about one more um, called text decoration. And this is how you can add things like an underline or strike through. So I'm going to actually bring this H1 to the center as well, just so we can see it a little bit better. And I might change this to yellow just so it's brighter and more obnoxious. So let's have this. Let's have a strike through through this H1 um, just because we feel like it. And uh, we can do text hyphen decoration. So just like that, text hyphen decoration, and we can have this be strike. We can have this be line through, and that's just gonna cross it out kind of and then our paragraph we're just gonna underline the entire thing so let's do another text decoration and then this is just going to be underline now let's go back to our chrome here and you can see we got um, this is strike through and this is underlined so these are just a couple of things that underline text is often used to signify a link so um, you know, you may want to be careful with how you're coloring your text. If it's got an underline, you don't want to be confusing people so that people might think uh, this text is a link. Um, so that's why it's good to have like a link color or sort of like a, a, a style that signifies what's your links. You want to make those really obvious to your users. Um, a couple of other ones would be an overline. Um, or which one I really would not recommend using is blink. I'm, I mean, people haven't used that for, uh, like, I don't even know, forever. So just don't, I mean, you can use it if you want, but um, you could also do tech de text decoration blink, and it's going to make your text really obnoxious. Um, a couple of other things you can do is transform your text. And this is something you might use all the time, um, because you you know, let's say your users are typing in their text through a WYSIWYG editor and you want it to always look a certain way or something, um, y you want to have control over that. So what you can do is you can say, um, we'll make this H1, we'll make this whole thing um, uppercase, the entire thing. So we're going to do text hyphen transform and then the value is uppercase. And for our paragraph, we're going to have this be, um, 
we'll have this be capitalize, which isn't something I use a whole lot, but um, it is useful because what capitalize does is it capitalizes um, every, the first letter of every single word. So let's go to Chrome refresh, and you can see every single word is capitalized the first letter. Um, I mean, that'd be useful for titles or something like that. Uh, this is all capitalized because that's just how I typed it. Um, level up tuts right here is in all caps. So that's because I use text transform uppercase. And same thing, if you were to have this be lowercase, refresh, now all your text is lowercase, regardless of what I type here. Um, this can be illustrated by coming into here in our HTML, and I'm going to type level up tuts in all caps. If we refresh our page, you can still see that this is all lowercase, simply because the CSS is transforming that text itself, and it's not using the style in which you typed it. And then another one you can use is text indent. So let's indent, um, let's give this a class of first. And this is just gonna be our, our first paragraph. And I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna say first, and then I'm going to say uh, text hyphen indent, and then this is going to be, we'll give this 100 pixels to make it obvious, and then go back to our Chrome, and now you can see the first paragraph is pushed indented by 100 pixels. Now there are other um, text properties like line height and letter spacing. Um, you can even use text shadow, but text shadow is something that really came with CSS3 and we'll be going over that later. So this is enough to really get you started transforming your text with CSS. All right, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Once again, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking, um, what you wanna see, okay? Great, thanks for watching.